What's up guys, it's me, Eric16, and today I will be showing you guys how to install the Conquest mod and texture pack alongside shaders and forge. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is actually run Minecraft. So we'll just we're just gonna scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.16.5, since that's the version that our mod is gonna be at or at least a specific mod. You just need to run whichever version of Minecraft your mod is running at. I'm just gonna name it something random. So when we come down here, we should find our um, game version. So uh, the reason why we wanna do this is because you have to actually have the game version um, run before you install Forge and Optifine so that then it can just kind of read that data I'm imagining. So we're just gonna run Minecraft right now and um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we're here on Minecraft. Now there isn't really anything in particular. Um, there's this, it's just normal Minecraft. When we come down to the shadings, we don't have we just have the normal settings that's pretty much it so what we need to do now is quit the game and then we have to go on to google to actually install our mods and all of that so let's do that right now okay so the first thing you'll want to do is install java Whatever you do, just click on anything that it says. Just click allow and anything of that. We will need Java so that then you can run stuff like Optifine, mods, and many other features within the game. So go ahead and install it. And after that, um, yeah. After that, you have to reset your computer because it might not be on your computer yet. Or at least that's what worked for me. I have a video linked in the description for those of you who find it really hard to install Java. So like I've already installed it, it's time for us to install Optifine. Don't need that anymore. So to install Optifine, you just go over to the download section and you just press on the mirror option. Then you just click on download and it should download right over here. Now, you want to run Optifine and it should come up with something like this. I also forgot to mention that Optifine, um, it has to be uh, the version that you're looking for. So you come down here onto Downloads, Show All Versions, scroll down 1.16.5, Mirror, and then you have to click the Download button. So Optifine will allow you to run um, shaders um, and it'll make the texture packs look more realistic and it'll allow for connected textures and stuff like that. So just click on install and then it will say that Optifine is successfully installed. Another thing that you will want to do with this file is that if you come over here to downloads, we will actually want to save this. Um, we, I'll show you why in a moment. Now our next step is installing Forge. So this is the exact same thing as Optifine. You just come over here to the 1.16 file. You just come right over here and then you go into the installer. We just wait for a little while and then a download button should come up right here. We install that, and this is the exact same thing as Optifine. You just want to click on OK, and then it should be installing. Now, I'm not going to install it again because this could mess with my um, game versions. Well, it's too late anyway. Now, you'll want to install shaders. Um, Basically, uh, the shaders that we're going to be installing are SUS Renewed. You don't have to pay for SUS PTGI anymore, but that's a video for a whole entire different day. But for now, we're just going to be installing um, the shaders and everything to make Conquest look good. So Sonic Ethers has his own website. This is 
Sonic Ethers Shaders. It's called Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, or SUS for short. Um, basically, we're going to be using the, ren the SUS renewed version. So we're going to scroll down. Um, for some reason, this the Sonic Ethers uh, website is not working. For well, you know what? I might as well just show you how to install SuSPTEI for free. So Sonic Ether stated that he was gonna make SuSPTEI free when he finished his project, and so far he has. You can still buy the stone and diamond and all of those tiers, but um, I prefer to get the free version. You just scroll, scroll down over here, and then you should get the two versions: SuSPTEI HRR and SuSPTEI HRR Test 2.1. Um, get the 2.3. These really depend on what game version you have. Uh, for 1.16, um, use test 2. So yeah, for 1.17, use this one. For 1.18, just use the version 3. Um, all of those are free and Sonic on Sonic Others' own Patreon. So yeah, we'll just scroll down here, and uh, yeah, so we have. Uh, SUS, um, see the SUS website is not actually working for some reason, but that's alright. You'll want to install SUS Renewed, right over here, oh, no you can't, uh, that's for me for some reason, but you just, just install SUS Renewed, um, Okay, now it's time to install the victory mod. This will actually allow, this is like an add-on to the conquest mod. It's, you don't have to download it, but it's recommended that you do. So you scroll down to the latest version, 1.16.5, and then you just download it. The download will begin in a few seconds, and then after that, gonna appear right here. Just close that for now. Over here in the downloads, everything that you download so far should be safe, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, after that, you will want to go onto the Conquest Texture Pack. Um, onto the Conquest Texture Pack uh, website. So you come down here and we have a lot of options. So we will scroll down and we will come over here to Conquest 1.18. Um, you have a whole lot of different choices, 1.15, 1.7.10, um, all the way down and yeah. So we have mods here, but what we're interested in is Conquest 1.18 since you can also run that with 1.16. So we just go on to here, the download should begin. Right over there, it's downloading, and we have that over here. Just wait for that to download. Well, actually, no, it doesn't quit downloading. And it finishes off, and there we go. That should appear in our downloads area right up here. Okay, so we're done with that. Now it is time for us to install the mod. So, um, the Conquest Reforged mod is, um, all of these links will be in the description, but now it is time for us to install the Conquest Reforged mod. You'll want to scroll down, choose the game version that you want to install, and this should be the 1.16 one. Well, no, it shouldn't. You just get sent to Chris Forge again, and now you can safely close this off un unless you have to see anything else like news, information, showcases, servers, or community. So we can just close that now. So now we have the main reason why we're here. Uh, well, this is the main reason why we're here. This is the mod itself. This is the texture pack. So we do, we'll just come, we'll just go right onto here and we'll scroll down until we find the 1.16.5 and we'll just click on install. We'll do the same thing with the files and right over here 1.16 again. Install that. That should be installing alongside this. 
this should either take this should take a while to install it's not really it shouldn't take so long to install but it should at least take a while so now you can safely close that off and now all we need to do is drag our file so let's do that okay so we have every single one of the files that we installed so we're just gonna drag all of this out here the victory mod conquest the conquest reforge pack and all of that so yeah um okay so uh when i dragged uh when i on, okay sorry when i said that it was time to drag some of the files outside um it may appear that um the home screen of the laptop isn't there and it's just the download screen um first of all that is not a phone you cannot install mods on your phone and number two um what i meant by drag that was just drag it onto your windows onto your home screen of your windows so yeah that's only for people who got confused by that uh so okay so um yeah we got all of these folders right here that we installed from the from google and all of those websites so now we're going to go into our onto our file explorer and we're going to type up percent update a percent i've already got it typed up here um dot minecraft and then you want to create a new folder this folder will be named mods i don't need to do that since i already created mine after that, you'll want to drag in all of the folders that you have, so um, not all of them, only these three, the ones that have the teacup on it. You'll just drag it in there. I don't need to do that since I've already done that, as you can see right here. Um, then we'll go down onto our resource packs, and then we'll drag in these two folders, and the conquest texture pack and the conquest reforged texture pack. We'll just um drag it down there we obviously don't need to do that as well since well you you guys will probably need to do it if you don't have the texture pack i don't need to do it personally since well they're already dragged in here um once you're done doing that you can just open up minecraft and well then we'll be good to go Okay, so I'm here back in the Minecraft launcher. So when we go into over to our installations, you will see you will see like this little at this anvil icon on one of the the on one of the just where the block is right here. You should see an anvil icon. So this means that Forge has been successfully installed, and you should see an OP um, as well. That means that Optifine has also successfully been installed. I also, um, those three folders was the two mod packs alongside Optifine because for you to be able to run Forge and Optifine, you need to put the Optifine launcher itself into the mods folder. That way, um, Optifine can also be run so you can run shaders with Forge. So, yeah, I deleted those two since I already have it right over here. I already did this myself before I made the video so yeah now all we need to do is just load up minecraft and I will show you um, the how uh, well I will just show you that this actually does work so okay so the first thing we notice is that we have these little numbers up here um, this is a this is basically showing you that Forge is indeed installed. Um, down here you should just see a few of the a few words of the mod and or the mod that you installed and what is there. Um, this should take a while. It doesn't it doesn't take long. It just takes a little bit of time for it to load and after that it is fully loaded and then you have minecraft it, it says it down here in fact well, no it doesn't anymore mod setup final compilation and then freezing data now freezing data just it doesn't mean anything it should just freeze for a little while and then minecraft should be up should be up and running like normal another thing that i forgot to mention is uh 
well, I'll show you guys in a moment. So you should see this right here. Um, we come over here. Okay, so we come over here, and then what we do is that we go into our options, resource packs, we scroll down, and then we have the two texture packs that we installed. You want to enable that with Conquest Reforge right up there. So, yeah, that's loading again. It should take a while. It, it freezes for a little time. It just it's just trying to process everything. Okay, so we go into our video settings, and as you can see, we have all of these new um, settings. That means that Optifine is not only installed, but it's on the mods folder itself. So we go over here to shaders, um, sh the shaders folder, and I actually did something, <laughs> I, I did something really, I overall did something really uh, dumb. I'm just trying to see if I accidentally dragged the shader into the mods folder. Let's just see if I did do that. Mods, conquest, no, everything is right here. Resource pack, it, it has, it had to be resource packs, or maybe I didn't even drag it at all. Hold on. Scroll down here. Patrick's pure BD or okay. Okay, so I did not install, uh, I, did, I accidentally didn't drag the shader in here, but once you have the shader folder, it should be the exact same thing as a zip folder, like, um, it should look like this. The one that I'm using looks exactly like this. Seuss Renewed. It looks like this. So, um, basically you install the, first you install Optifine, then you drag the Seuss or your shader folder right into here so that then it can be so that then it can, you can run the shader so um my shaders are already enabled so yeah you will really see the difference when i run the game also please make sure to watch till the end because i forgot to add something in that is super important this makes sure that your game does not crash because it will if you do not do this actually i'll show you guys right now Okay, so we're over here at the Minecraft launcher. We'll just go over to our installations and where your um, Minecraft 1.16 folder is or your mod folder. Well, no, this is specifically for this mod. You'll want to go onto here and then you'll want to go into edit. You'll want to go onto more options and whatever you do, keep it at, uh, change this. This should be at either 0 gigabytes, but change it to 8. Mine is already... Mine has already been changed to 8 gigabytes. You can change it by writing it in. But maximum, just write 8 gigabytes in here. Uh, as it says right over here, 8 gigabytes. So this will allow your game to run without crashing because this is what happened to me when I run it before I turned it to 8. So yeah, let's go back onto Minecraft to see how this mod works. Okay, so we're back onto Minecraft, and now we're gonna see how um, the mod works. I made a little world for this uh, a few minutes before now, so um, yeah, should be loading in a little while. It's just like I said before, it's trying to process everything: the shaders, the mods, Optifine, all of that. It's just trying to process it. The game will freeze for a while, and then it will unfreeze, and then it'll just load the world in. So don't worry if it... Just don't worry if it freezes. I think that it will eventually unfreeze. So, yeah. Okay. 
so something unexpected happened. Uh, I think that uh, the conquest. Oh no, this is the patch. Yeah, uh, we installed the 1.18 version, so you'll just see it right over here. Hold on, the conquest. Um, see 1.16 to 1.18. You'll want to use this one. This was an accident. Sorry for that, guys. Um, it just says that it's not. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is how it's meant to look like. So, this is basically the conquest texture pack. Um, I just want to give credit where credit is due. This house I did not make. It was inspired by a YouTuber's house. I'll link the tutorial down in the description. But I decorated the house to my own liking, so I did a part of it too. We're not collaborating, we just made the house and I just took that house and well, turned it into this. But yeah, this is the Conquest um, mod pack, or mod. It adds a lot of things, so the first thing you should notice is the obvious change in textures. Um, the more noticeable thing is in the menu, you'll get a lot of things more um you'll get more blocks you'll get uh more items and stuff like that it's just this mod is a decoration mod you can get many more mods from forge well using forge but i personally like decorating mods so this texture pack will end the mod does work description so i hope you guys enjoyed this video